Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to concentrate on the equation f equals minus kx, also known as Hooke's law, and in particular, why there's a negative sign there. A lot of students, including myself, once upon a time looked at that and go, why in the world do we need a negative sign there? Doesn't it simply tell us that the force that the spring exerts on the block is equal to k times x? Why the negative? Well, it turns out that it's all by definition. First of all, x is the displacement from the equilibrium point. In other words, if the block is being pulled to this direction for whatever reason, maybe we pulled it out that way, maybe it has enough kinetic energy to move it past the equilibrium point, now we can see that the displacement of the block, block is a positive x direction. So the displacement is, in this case is positive. Now F represents the force that the spring exerts on the block. So what is the direction of the force that the spring exerts on the block? Once the block is past the equilibrium point, now the spring is pulling back on the block. The block is being slowed down, eventually will come to a stop, and then the spring will accelerate it back towards the equilibrium point. So this entire time that the block is past the equilibrium point to the right side, in other words, when the displacement is a positive quantity, the spring will exert a force in the negative direction. So this is the force that the spring exerts on the block, and it's in the negative direction. Now let's go back to the equation. F equals minus kx. If x is a positive quantity, and since k is simply a spring constant, which is also a positive quantity, then F without the negative sign would be positive. But that's not correct because when it's to the right side, when the block is to the right side of the equilibrium point, the force is actually a negative quantity. And the only way to get that to be a negative quantity is to put a negative sign in that equation. That's what it's there for. But what if the block is on the other side of the equilibrium point? What happens now? For example, the, the spring has now pulled it, the, the block accelerated towards the equilibrium point, shot over the equilibrium point, and now this, the block is compressing the spring because the spring is now slowing down the block. Now the displacement for the block is a negative quantity. It is to the, to the left of the equilibrium point, therefore the displacement is negative. Now the spring is pushing against the block in the positive direction. The spring is now exerting a force of a push. It's exerting a push against the block, pushing it to the right side. So the force is now a positive quantity. But let's go over here and look at our equation. In this case now, when the block is to the negative side or to the left side of the equilibrium point, that's now called a negative displacement. And we know now that the force is exerting a positive force a force directed towards the right on the block and the only way to get the force to be a positive is to, to take the negative displacement and multiply it times a negative sign. So the negative sign is always there to direct or to give us the correct direction or the correct sign for the force that the spring exerts on the block. That's why we need a negative sign there. Hopefully this clears it up and you no longer have to worry why in the world they put the negative sign there in the equation known as Hooke's Law.